we're gonna be talking about cold stunning today. And that's because it is the winter months and it is something you might hear a lot more often this time of the year. It has definitely been relevant in our news stories currently with Texas all of a sudden getting a big drop in temperature. With a sudden and drastic drop in water temperature, it did cause thousands of turtles to cold stun. So hi, for those new here, my name is Leah. I've been in the field of sea turtle conservation for over 10 years and I absolutely love what I do. I recently came across this quote, which got me thinking about what else I could do in this field to further help education and conservation efforts. So on this channel, you'll find different work in the field, turtle talks, my turtle puppet Myrtle uh, might be featured. If you would give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to join this turtly awesome community, I would really appreciate it. So sea turtles occupy temperate and tropical waters around the world. They have long migration routes that are determined by breeding and nesting, foraging, and also moving to warmer waters. In general, cold stunning follows a drastic weather event, an event that causes a sudden drop in water temperature, especially in shallower waters where the water temperature can be more easily influenced with this drop. If the temperatures remain too low and the turtle isn't admitted to a facility and rescued, they could develop more health problems and could potentially die. If it gets too cold, they become debilitated, can impact their circulation, organ function, and their immune system. Bacterial and fungal infections can also be common in cold stunned turtles. So sea turtles are ectothermic. Ecto meaning outer, thermic meaning heat. Also known as cold-blooded. Basically, they rely on their environment to regulate their internal body temperature. So what does it mean for a turtle to be cold stunned? Well, it's a condition in which sea turtles become very weak and inactive from this extreme cold temperature. Generally, it occurs when water temperatures fall below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. When water temperatures drastically drop, sea turtles become weak, disorientated, and unable to regulate their buoyancy. Often they float to the surface and could get pushed ashore with the currents and tides. If you're walking along the beach and come across a turtle that you believe to be stranded, it's important that you call your state stranding number. This number will get in touch with a trained and permitted individual in order to respond to the case. The U.S. has established an amazing system of biologists and local volunteers that are trained and permitted in order to respond to these stranding events. Personally, I've never worked at a sea turtle hospital. I have visited quite a few, but when the sea turtles are admitted, there'll be various levels of care needed for these turtles depending on how severe their cold stunning is. Some sea turtles may be able to be released pretty quickly after when the waters have gotten warmer or maybe even flown to warmer areas where other turtles will have to be admitted to the hospital for longer stays for more veterinary care. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about cold stunning sea turtles and events. If you have any additional questions, something I didn't mention, feel free to let me know down below. Or if there's any certain video topic you'd like me to cover, that would be helpful too, so I know what else to create. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying these sea turtle videos, and I will see you next time.